Hi, I'm back again, Tamitha McElmurray from Fairhope, Alabama. I am going to be, this will be my third painting today. The first two that I did, I filmed, but I did not put audio. So I may just try to put that one on for everybody to see how it turned out. It was a diptych and uh, I may show it to you at the end when I take you down to see this one. I may walk you over there. But I'm going to do one similar to it. I'm just going to do a larger one. And in this one, I'm going to be doing negative space, but it's going to be out of this beautiful color. So it's going to be inspired by the ocean, of course. I love the, the coastal. Um, coastal color schemes and organic flow of water and that kind of thing. So that's what we're going to be doing. Um, let me grab a cup and I'm going to build my pour in. Okay, so first I've got to flood my canvas. I hope I made enough of this. I'm really getting a little worried that I didn't. Um, I think I may add some more white to it. Even a little bit more will help. I know it's going to lighten it a little bit, but that's okay. I just hope I have enough room to stir it. Sorry about wasting your time on that. I just saw this canvas and thought, oh gosh, I hope this is enough to flood this canvas. We shall soon see. And put that on there. It's not going to matter because that's what we're using. A little bit more. Well, I'm going to go with it. Let's just see if this works. Yeah, I don't think I have enough. Oh, wait. I may have to rethink this. Let's just see how this looks out. Just start moving it around on here. So far, so good. Maybe there's more on here than I thought. Worry, worry, worry me. I don't need any for the rest of the painting. I just need it to cover my canvas well. blood coat so the rest will move well on the canvas but I've got to get these sides too so oh, here I go side just trying to avoid that for as long as possible now let's just go ahead Now, I don't know how many of y'all paint in negative spaces, but I'd love to hear some comments down below about things that you've made, things that you like to do, because I am learning, learning, learning. I am loving it, but I certainly am no expert yet, and I would hope to learn from some of you as well. One of my tips is to use a spoon, the back of the spoon, to get some of the smaller areas or a smaller canvas. This one's just too big to do the whole canvas, but I do like 
using the spoon. I'll try to speed this part up when I go to editing. I'm not real good at the editing yet. I want to make sure it's covered and no canvas is showing, and then it should be good. Nope, there's a little space, but that's in the center. That's that's going to be covered with some more paint. Okay, I hope y'all stuck with me. Um, I'm going to start with. What am I starting with? I'm going to start. This is a white with alcohol. Start with that. Put a little of this kind of a taupey gold color. This is uh, pearl white or white pearl. Put a little of this galvanized tin. This is unbleached white with uh, mica flakes in it. I am going to put some silicone drops directly in because I do want some movement going on. Um, I have a little bit of silver. building layers. Right, this should be enough. Do a little bit more grinds. I know what I want to do. Let me mix up just a hair more of this. And I'll tell you the name of it. I believe it's this taupe. shouldn't be working over this but put some flow call on there. Close to 50-50 on the flow trial. I'm gonna stir this over here. So I've got a little water in it, and I'm going to put some silicone in it. Now what am I going to do with this? Well, I'm trying to decide if I should go across this way or if I should do a long one. I, think, I don't think I have enough paint for a long one. Um, so I think I'm going to go this way and it'd be kind of cool to do a long one. I have enough of 
that paint. I just don't think I have enough of this paint. Let's just go across the center. And I'm gonna spill this everywhere. I need to shove this baby over just a little bit. Okay, so we're gonna go right across here. base coat there. Now I'm going to take my mix and we're just going to go and play. We're going to see what happens. I may need some more of that. I'm not done with that yet. We'll see what happens. It looks really small up there. There's actually a lot of paint on this canvas. Spread it out a little bit. You'll see where I'm going with this in just a little bit. This is just the first stage of it. Although I like all of this, but that's not what I'm doing this time. some more. And while I'm waiting for that, I think I need to make just a little bit more of this white. Waiting for that to spread out a little bit. Seeing a little bit of canvas, so I'm trying to cover that before it's too late. Okay, need to get my alcohol. First, I'm going to torch a little bit, some of the current cell action going. Make some more. Get some of these bubbles out of this too. Oh yeah, there's a bunch of bubbles. A ton of bubbles. Probably because I had to mix up that paint so much to get that color right for me. Probably just. Tons and tons of baby bubbles. Okay, got to do a little bit of maintenance. Here. Where I can see canvas, so make sure.
Okay. Now, you ask, what am I going to do, right? Well, I'm going to do a little experiment here. Grab one more stick. We are going to do a little experiment. This is just Pearl White with some alcohol in it. And I am just doing a swipe here and there. And I'm going to do the same with some white. Everyone's always scared after they get their base coat to actually do something different, but I love it. Let's see what that does. Let me get my... Wasn't going to do that much, but I got carried away. I may still do like a little central line through here. Okay. I know you're saying, what in the heck is she doing? Just wait. You see all this movement? I don't know if you can see that or not, but let's see when it's done.
let me evaluate from this angle. Well, I kind of like it. I don't think I'm going to move anything. I do have some touch up I need to do on this blue here and there. Just a little space right there. That's pretty good on the blue. I think I'm going to do a little more firing and see if we can get this solidified just a little bit more. But I really like the colors and the movement of this piece. There's a little bit more blue. See how every angle you go, you can see. different. You can see different things from different angles. And I think I could see a little canvas right through there. I hope I'm right there. hope that'll do it. Oh yeah. As the, each layer dries, the alcohol and the silicone will, and then the, the fire, will help encourage more movement and activity in between the layers of the paint that I built in the cup. And so like this time, a little bit more is happening than, than the last time. Oh yeah, some webbing, some lacing. I need to do the sides because you can see the sides too because I'm going to resin this. It's just going to be so beautiful and shiny. Just give me a second. I'm going to take you down and let you get a close-up of this beautiful painting. Oh, I wish I had taken this to the art center today, but it won't be ready for about a week and a half. So... And of course I saw a little place right there. Pick up a little paint from here. Right there. And we're done. So let me take you to get a close up. I'm sure I'm gonna get paint all over my phone. Hope you can see that. It's very subtle, but I love how the background color of the aqua comes up through all the cells and the lacing. Getting a shadow from my camera, so I'm gonna go around here. And I'm not sure how I would hang this one. Look at that area right there. Love it. And look at this right here. Take you back. Let you see. And I'm going to walk you over and let you see the two I did that I didn't have the audio going. This is a diptych. Let me see if I can turn it around and let you see it the way it's supposed to be. You see that? That's a diptych I did this morning which was my first attempt, and I love the colors. So I decided to do that other one, and it worked out great. So thanks for tuning in. Please give me a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. I would appreciate it. Tamitha McElmurray, Fairhope, Alabama. Thank you.